Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly check-in asking what do you need to know right now. It is for Sagittarius. Sagittarius can't speak sun moon and rising well we have the eight of pentacles coming in so could be something to do with work uh, so let's see some energies coming in around work you might be working really really hard at something we have the ace of cups has come through so there may be some healing that's coming in or something new is birthing uh, there could be some emotional release around something as well with the Ace of Cups, but beautiful energy coming through for you, Saji. Um, I was just in the process of saying this is for Sun, Moon and Rising. So if you know all three of your placements, it's great to listen to all three because it gives you the bigger picture of what's going on. And it is a general reading, Sagittarius. So uh, just take what feels right and leave the rest. So let's get another couple of cards for you coming out for Saji. And see what's going on here. Oh, here you are, the Knight of Wands. This is a Sagittarius card and the Six of Swords. Wow, this is really, really good energy. This is fantastic. The Six of Swords and the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, things start to flow. Things start to move. There's some very, very beautiful positive change coming in with the Knight of Wands. This is your energy. This is your card, Sagittarius. It's very much about, right, I'm off. I'm off and, off and racing. I'm off to on the next big adventure. I'm off making these positive changes. I feel like I've got a purpose now and I've got some things going into action and that's all feeling really, really good. And it feels like perhaps you're feeling very motivated as well to start a new job for some of you, to start something new in terms of your career, your vocation, or something that you want to work hard at and really commit to. It doesn't have to necessarily be career. So there's blessings coming in from the universe around this. And we also have the Six of Swords at the base, which is around travel. It's around freedom. It's around moving to a place of greater peace. It can be around moving, like relocating. But either way, things start to flow and there's an ease, which is very nice, uh, which comes in. So all in all, it feels like a really, really positive time if you're looking for new work or you're wanting to bring some changes into your work or feeling more positive about what it is that you're working on and also if you're looking to move. So, yeah, very, very positive energy for the week for that. And there's something lovely birthing here with the Ace of Cups. So, like I said, if there is an emotional outburst or energy or uh, some feelings, that usually will, with the Ace of Cups, yes, it can come out, but it's usually replaced with a lovely feeling of calm and happiness and joy uh, associated with it as well to be able to move into this new space and feel like you've cleared something out if that has occurred. so. But it does feel like whatever moves and changes you're making at this moment in time are blessed by the universe. So, yeah, it feels like uh, this is a good week to be doing that. It says that it's not stagnant, which is good, even though there is something you're working on. It says, I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, beautiful. I am love and miracles are natural. Of course they are. Um, so let's pull... I just feel like it feels like the direction you're going at this moment feels good. It feels good and it feels like, you know, finally you can move forward with something. Plus also this is perhaps not, I mean, it's something that you're kind of thinking uh, you might have a longer term vision for, but also it's not just for some of you, not just for you. It's something that can impact on the people around you as well, your loved ones. It says, I express my creativity. My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. My creativity is always in demand. Beautiful. So, yeah, it could be a very highly creative time coming through for you as well. Uh, so that's also <laughs> fantastic energy coming in. Let's see. It just it feels good. This feels good for you, Sagittarius. Getting your motivation back perhaps where something felt a bit stuck. I'll just drop the cards. Give me a sec. I'll grab them, Saji, off the floor. Okay, so this is what you're leaving behind, the peacock energy. 
Uh, yeah, which is not all that glitters is gold. Shiny, shiny, someone wanting to get a lot of attention. It could be someone who's very attention-seeking, someone who's a bit of a wanker, really. Uh, it could be someone that's just very shallow. It's like, look at me, look at me, look at me. Someone that will push you over to get the attention or get the success. And it's like, no, nah, I don't want that anymore. So the peacock energy, I feel like that's kind of part of what you're wanting to leave behind. Uh, and it, it's kind of all showy and surface. There needs to be some more depth to or to uh, what's going on. Uh, so it doesn't have to be that necessarily like what I'm, they're saying is that it doesn't have to be that this energy was like, very look at me, look at me, look at me. It can be just it was surface. It needed something deeper. Um, so this is where this comes in, the cobra energy, which is a fire energy, beautiful energy coming in for you again. And it, it's a sense that for me the the cobra energy is very much keeps you on the straight and narrow. It's looking you, it's a spiritual teacher that looks you right in the eye and says, I'm keeping you on this path. This is the right path for you. And if you sway or veer off it, I'm watching. <laughs> I can see and I can, and this is a higher part of you. So it's not like you're in trouble or anything like that, but it, it keeps you, it keeps you true on the true path that's aligned for you. So that's a really fantastic energy and it comes in as a teacher energy. And it's also saying there's, uh, you're poised to strike at something. You know, there's something, there's an opportunity that you're going to want to grab when you see it. And the cobra energy also can mean uh, a lot of uh, sexual tension between you and somebody else as well. So that could come in as, as a little theme. But, uh, yeah, let's see. I want to pull an Ascended Masters card next. So I said. So let's see. But the, the Cobra energy also says to keep you in, it keeps you in your power. Just when you might kind of veer off and get distracted this way or kind of compromise and go, oh, maybe, okay. It's like keeping you in there. So, yeah, this is the card we have. Trust, trust, trust in the new direction that you're going on. That's what this, right next to this energy uh, it's very much, uh, you know, when sometimes we have those moments where we're heading in this direction and suddenly we falter and go, oh, can I really do this? Or is this the right, you know, you just have those moments of doubt. This is like trust that this is right. So it's, like I said, it's keeping you on the straight and narrow, which is a really, really good energy. It's saying this is right for you, this direction that you're heading in. And even though there may be little wobbles along the way or moments of not trusting the process, it's really saying, no, this is really good for you. Oh, this is so cute, this card. Three of Roses, Loving Elementals. Look at this. <laughs> this is so cute. Uh, and it is um very much, I'll put this one up on the screen because the camera doesn't pick up, up on it, Saji. But, yeah, very much, uh, I, I think this relates to the, the I am love and miracles are natural. There's, like I said, you're being blessed by spirit. Some, there's blessings around. So there could be little magical moments of inspiration and creativity your inner child could actually be speaking to you quite uh, in a very light and playful way you might have those times where you just get these downloads and you like get these ideas and you're like oh that's a really good idea I need to work with that uh, it's about just being really present in the journey really enjoying it being really connected to soul and spirit and nature even and the inner child and just really understanding that there are things, energies around you from spirit that is supporting you and and communicating with you at this time. So, yeah, it's a lovely energy and it could be to do with children as well. Loving elementals, very beautiful, a lot of love coming through there. So, yep, yeah, um, could be getting messages around children, uh, even conception coming through. So we have the the beautiful butterfly coming through. Actually, uh, I'm kind of getting this more as a moth energy for you, Sagittarius, and moths fly to the light. So that's why we're kind of getting the this beautiful high vibrational energy around you. Uh, so believing in miracles and 
it, it feels kind of magical. So stay in that light. There's a very light energy coming through here. Trust your, what you're feeling maybe intuitively, the messages that you're getting through in terms of ideas and creativity, and really trust this. This is a nice energy. It could be quite inspired. And um, there is a sense of ascension and being attracted to the right things for you, the right path, and so attracted to that light, which is lovely the energy of the moth. So that's it, Sagittarius. Ultimately, we have the Six of Swords as the overall energy coming in, which is a really nice energy because it feels like things are on the move and things are moving in the, a really good direction and bringing a lot more peace into your life. So that's the energy for the week. Thanks so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Please like, subscribe and share if you'd like to support the growth of this channel and the content that's made here and see you next time Saji. Bye.